Tees have been pushed back, Morgie, but not many bunkers in play, Morgie. Well, it's 597 yards. The bunker is 348 to carry, and this is rifled. Oh, my goodness. Zoom out. Is, that is borderline obscene. It's offensive. It's offensive it's, to watch. You've been playing alongside. It's, it's a joy to watch because that's what every golfer ever wanted to do. To bend down and pick up the tee, usually a good sign. <laughs> that is so far down there. Five ten, the seventh is toughest hole on the golf course. Wilco won't even worry about the water. He won't even think about it. He might not even see it. It's just so far through the air now. Settled down. Yes, that's how you play a, a, a drivable par four. Nearly landed it in the hole. I mean, that... there's a stand of trees and rocks out there, but he'll be so far past that. Oh, he is so far past it, Tony. Oh. Look at that, mate. I mean, we we have kind of top drives on the ball, but do, can you actually see these his shots finish all the time, John? Well, got neck cake. Well, 503 Forged. yards. This is uh, there's our TV compound. That's where we are. Down but right. you know what? You know a man's long when every single player who walks along the back of the range stops and watches when yeah. he hits driver. It's yeah. just an astonishing the different sound altogether. Strap yourselves in. This is going to be hit hard. Wow. One enormous wallop. Launched. He was talking about it in his press conference. It said that he can get up around 211 miles per hour in ball speed. He's trying to get over 200 miles an hour ball speed on the golf course one day in tournament play. 335 to carry all of the right fairway bunker. And he's trying to do just that. Ah, my goodness, he did 340 like through the air in the middle of the fair. We've got to give him credit on that as well. Bryson DeChambeau at 18. He cannot advance to the Sweet 16, but he can help. How's this? He can help France. <laughs> oh, that drive. Lift off that was on the countdown. He's, he's carried it to the front of the green into the bank. How about that? Seven. The first one was hit hard. This one might be hit even harder. He's not commentating, so it must be straighter than the first one. With his left foot, where it spins around, he's better off letting that spin, isn't it, rather than putting all of the, the force into the left, left side. The swing of Bryson DeChambeau. Yeah, we're going to compare two, 2009, 19 on the left-hand side and the present day on the right. You can see the bigger setup, more powerful, wider stance. The extra yardage has come from a massively improved coil. Just look how much he's wound his body up on the right-hand side compared to the left. And also look at the length of the swing. The wrists are more heavily cocked on the right-hand side on the present day. And that leads to more lag, more leverage as he comes into the impact zone. Uses a four and a half degree driver, so has to stay on his right side and hit up on the ball, hence the lack of stability in his left foot there. That's going to twist because his body's rotating out of the way really hard, and yet the weight's not on that front foot. He's hanging back in order to hit up on it. Well, it's always a joy to be standing reasonably near Dean Burmester when he's going to hit his driver, when he wants to hit a big one. And here's a moment. He's going to cut loose with this one. Yeah, it makes a different sound. Thank you. These these sluggers. It's always fun walking down the back of the range and just parking and listening to a couple of the, the guys ripping it and you just stand there and go, oh, if only. A quick three and get out of here. Back into the breeze. Thanks. 
Yeah, just easing his way into that one. He's actually the second longest driver on average on the European Tour this season at 335 yards. Really cuts loose. He can hit it a country mile if he gets hold of them. He's got quite some club head speed, hasn't he, Burmester? And that's a beauty. That'll be all systems go for sure. Sort of has this, almost like a cricketer's follow through this Burmester. But you, he's not going to be holding back here. This will be a little whoosh. Just a little. A little bit, man. It's less thing. Good, Perfect. Driver at the 12 for Burmester. Stand back, Ken. I'm well away, don't worry, it's like a firework. Absolutely perfect. And some of these are sort of three-quarter hits, I say that. They're 80% 80, 80 drivers. He's not giving it the full treatment, but look at that. And you really need to find the fairway. It's a narrow slither down there where this boy hits it. Bottlenecks, it's like driving it up a wine bottle. When he learned to hit that little fade, it changed who he was as a player. Long and straight as good as anybody, if not the very best. Just got to stay out of those bunkers down the right side, open up this green. These are the moments he must really enjoy out here and let go, rip it. Justin Johnson on six, off we go. Must be just horrible to play with that how much further than yours it's going and also how much closer to the middle of the fairway it is on every time a good chance for dj here a lone bunker down the left he managed to stay away from that it'd be just fine opens up the green nicely what bunker correct <laughs> that's amazing 291 uphill jay yeah it doesn't exist for this guy A good opportunity for Gavin Green here to show off his explosiveness. Can he get it on the putting surface for this tee shot? Oh, hang on a moment. Can he hold it? This is insane. <laughs> 390 yards. <laughs> well, he deserves that. Right, Gavin Green. Step one. Just blast it down the fairway. That must be perfect. I don't think it would have reached that little strip of rough. Well, drum roll, everybody. Here we go. Last group out, two ball. Gavin Green on the tee. Now he can launch this. He can send it well over the bunkers. 290 to carry. Looks to be nestled down for Gavin Green there on the left hand side. Cool. Lee straight. with the driver That's, and it looks okay? like a Keep bullet. Stay in the first. Ah, oh, what a difference that makes. Back on the tee, Lee. They settle, doesn't want that run through the fairway. Just. We might see this young Lucas Herbert send one here. This will be big. No one's really setting up for that draw. That's a long way down there. He has crunched that, hasn't he? At the long par five third. 
Big hitter, he needs to get this one fading. There's a bunker through the fairway that you can actually see, and that looks like it's heading straight for it. You know, it was a little bit right of that, then that's a perfect drive. He's a long hitter. Lucas Herbert. Shot. How much is he going to cut off? Plenty. Not to mention that club it's in the bag. He is absolutely yeah, bombing you. driver at the moment. He hit it 360 down there and got it a little out of the toe yesterday. That's right, last week, didn't we, in Abu Dhabi? He was just short of that first green. Monster drive. It's a 47-inch driver. Off they go, then. I'm not sure that Dustin Johnson is the longest hitter in this group today. Yes, Ryan Fox can really launch it out there, can't he? And he loves to play golf courses aggressively, too. He attacks them, takes the driver out on holes that other players of his length perhaps wouldn't. There's about a yard in that, isn't there? Big hitting Ryan Fox. I wonder whether he can, if he gets it right, surely I would have thought he could pitch this one on the screen. If he hits it straight, that is. Oh, he does, yeah, he's a big hitter, Ryan Fox. Uh, Fox. That's a thump, isn't it? Oh, he gives it such a smack, doesn't he? They play the game the right way nowadays. That's got some hang time. He's sat back on that one, trying, but this one's going well right. Hang on. Ooh. What bunkers. That's amazing to carry it that far. This is going to get a serious hiding. I'm now just on the right side of that pylon, okay? Mm -hmm. Good position. Ball not running out quite so much today with the soft fairways, but green definitely in range. Let this thing to watch him on uh, Peters. He uses his height well, gets plenty of width in there. And he's going to be just okay. He certainly wasn't asked five minutes ago. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Don't have to worry about that one. Interesting. Thomas Peter saying it's quite a stressy tee shot. Elgin colours on the ball of Thomas Peters. He doesn't want to pull this with this club. He can run out with the road down there. Right there. That is just a gorgeous swing down the right wing. You couldn't walk up there and place it in a better spot. Back to the tee at 11, and McElroy. Out with the driver, what bunker down the right-hand side? Has he got the carry? Indeed he has. Couldn't place it any better. Tee it high and just give it to it. Something Rory McIlroy likes to do. The high floating ball flight. Stunning golf shot there. You were telling me, 308 yards to clear that bunker on the left-hand side. Hold on to your hat, see it. Down breeze this second. Yeah, if he finds the fairway here, he can hit this for about a, a second of an eight up. Or maybe a little less than <laughs> <laughs> nearly a putter. But with this club he's got in his hand, gee whiz at bottlenecks down there. We need to be so precise with the line on this tee shot. So out to the fade and hit. A lovely bread and butter fade to the perfect spot. That's a joy. 